What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another FS19 video and we are back here on our good old uh, What is it called? I'm forgetting all of a sudden. Hold on guys. Hold on. Raven something Raven Ridge. Oh man. I, I forgot. All right. Anyways, we're back on it. Um, I went through I uh, let one day go by I Tried to set down a barn over there guys and I had the weirdest time trying to do it Let me show you really quick. We got thirty eight thousand dollars. Everybody sees that right? 38,000 so when we go in here and we go to sheds So you just zoom over use your number keys or not number keys arrow keys to place Oh Well, hold on 62,000 I just noticed that hold on. Let me see here It's increasing the price that we have to pay oh, Okay, so placement height Left control. Okay, I see how it's going now. Let's see here. And object collides. And I'm just trying to get this thing snapped into place correctly. It's really, really weird and tricky though. Now that I see this menu though, it might help. So I was trying to place it here before. Uh, let's see. Let's try and bring it up. So it's trying to make us pay 68,000, 42,000. But then when you hit, oh, grid snapping. There we go. 51,000. It's making us pay a lot more than I think we should be paying. And I'm not sure if it's because of the field being in the way or not. Um, but yeah, I don't know. But I did go through, let me see, change the placement height, 52,000, 44, 43, 59, 56. I don't know. It's just really, really weird. Um, it says 9,000, but then it doesn't let you place it for 9,000 as I was showing you guys. Uh, we'll go, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to place one, guys, but I can't get it placed. It is on a slope. Hold on, let me just see if I can I'm just trying to see if I can maneuver it to the point where it'll let us do it I'm hitting hitting enter as much as I can ah come on all right well it's being weird not letting us place it for 9,000 even though it says it sells for 9,000 it won't let us place it for 9,000 it's trying to raise the prices way up so I'm not sure what we're gonna do for that. So I'll just wait to see if that gets evened out in like a next patch or two Just in case there's an issue because this this game is not day one yet. So there's still some bugs and stuff to be worked out, but Today we are gonna get going on our sunflower harvest So I'm gonna get a worker heading on this first and then I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that I've come across All right, get our good worker going on there Let's see if it leaves these behind Whoa, dude, what are you doing? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh. He just like took a crazy angle that I was not expecting him to go. All right, we're gonna try and set him back up here. Let me, I'll do a line quick and then I'll let him go in and do it just in case. All right. Whoa, all right, so it looks like I do not know, but it looks like workers want to do it diagonally across compared to what we want to do. All right, that's fine. But guys, look here. We got weeds now. So this is field 17. We got weeds down. Don't know why or don't know how we got weeds. I just basically went through a day and out of nowhere, bam, weeds popped up. Oh, we should probably bring this back. Uh, yeah, weeds popped up and I don't know why, uh, but we're going to have to buy ourselves a weeder now. Let me show you guys. Weeders, tetters, chainsaws, uh, they're in here somewhere. There she is, weeders. So these two were in the last game, um, but this one is now the new one. Weeders pull out small growing weeds in between crops, improving the field state. They can also be used in the first growing stages of crops. They can only be used. So when we get tall growing, growing crops, you can't be can't be throwing down weed weeders because they'll just destroy everything. I assuming, I'm assuming. But. Let's get the gator back because I accidentally reset the gator. So we'll get the gator back. 
Actually, you know what? Before we do the gator, let's take a stroll through town. I've been wanting to show you guys town. I haven't really been through town, and I think it'd be good for us to go through and explore together. Um, just in case you guys have not seen it yet. So, this spot here, let me show you this. So this is where you're gonna purchase everything. Uh, you can either hit P or you can go up here and purchase. Um, over here is your bank. Please insert your card. All right, so you can borrow. Oh, wow, we already have a $250,000 loan. Wow, okay, so. That's what's looking like. Do we bring in any money? Harvest income, 17000 Thankfully, we got something brought in to cover just a little bit of costs. Um, but we can pull out another 5000 which I think we're going to pull out a couple thousand. Just so we can get that shed down, honestly, because we need a shed to get thrown down. Um, but let's go back. Hop back in my gator. And let's stroll around. So here is your bank and your motor area. So this is where you're going to be buying all of your equipment. I'm surprised it's not like a case dealership or something like that. All right, we're just going to cruise around, check out all the buildings here, see what we got going. This is a big area. Oh, looks like we got a mansion almost here. This thing's huge. So we got that big building. Looks like we got more stuff going on. Me drive by coffee shop everybody loves coffee another ATM over there the foundation cement factory Ooh. wonder if any of these gates will move for us nope looks like we're not not allowed in here restricted access let's see here if you go over by the shop more to the gas station let's just drive around drive along this this area over here that will go into a tunnel Ah, oh, here we go. Hyper fast, hyper tasty pizza. Looks like we got a wave surfing shop. Perfect wave surfing. That's a, a surf sh surfboard shop, surfboard stuff, uh, that type of thing. Title model motel. Title view motel, not model. Title view motel. We got some basketball courts over here. Actually, here. Let's play some b ball real quick. I think there is an achievement if you hit. A uh, three-pointer. Give her here. Okay, wow, that was a little bit lackluster. Let's see here. Come on. Let's steady our feet right here. And hook. Oh, there we go. We got ourselves a good three-point. I thought that there was an achievement for making a three-point, but maybe there's not. Let's go way back here. Oh, we just don't quite have the... Don't quite have the strength for that one. Alright, that didn't work. Alright, let's go back down to the beach, though. Let's go down to the beach. I haven't checked out the beach yet. We saw it as we were driving the train by in the last episode. But we haven't actually uh, went down on the beach yet. I'd really like to take a good look at the water. See how well the water was done. Let's see here. Uh, Mega Ocean Thrift Store. A lot of ocean-based stuff. Maplefield Goldcrest Valley. Oh, look at that. It's a little Easter egg. A little throwback to their other game. All right. So, this map is definitely a USA map with all the US uh, flags we got going around here. All right. We're just going to park this up here on the curb. Yo, yo, yo. All right. This is a pretty good beach, I'd say. Can we row this out? A little dinghy out? No, we can't. This is pretty good, though. I think it's pretty well done. The beach looks really good. This guy's just walking through my uh, thing. Got a, some chi a chip cart. Hot dog cart there. Let's go up on the dock really quick. Because there's another beach. This whole left side of the map, it's just beaches. Which is really, really cool. I don't think we have... There's no gold nuggets in this game either, so... What is that? No, somebody dropped their ice cream cones. Oh, uh, what a poor kid. Probably kid dropped his ice cream cone. Dang. That'd be it. That's a rough one. How's he going over there? Oh, yep, he's still harvesting. He's bought he's on his like third third round. Um, right here is where we want to go. Yep, 
Yes. All right, we're going to go drive along the pier up here. They are definitely parked up on the curb there. Looks like we got a spot for unloading and loading ships. Grain silos, all of that. We can fit our gator on the pier, though. Yes. All righty. Make sure we're not going to hit anything. Oh, uh, what? We got it all blocked off. What is this? These fences cannot stop us. Or, never mind. The fences can stop us. Wow, I don't know why they have that blocked off. Yeah, we can't walk past the edges. That's weird. That's kind of a bummer, too. I kind of wanted to go back there and check that out. All right, onward. Let's... Let's go check out the sawmill. I haven't been up there to the sawmill. We could be doing some forestry. Uh, come here soon. So it'd be nice to know the sawmill area. We also have the other map though. So we can also always check out the other map for uh, forestry possibilities. Come on. Poor little gators hurting to get up here. There we go. All right, I need to check and see if this has a weigh-in station because I'm really curious to see if it has a weigh-in spot. So, you can do... Hold on, what's this saying? Nothing? Or maybe it's just like a... Oh, whoa, what was that? Sell wood right here. All right, so this is a sell spot. So you can just roll up here and then unload it from your train is what I'm assuming. Oh, guys. There's a jump. Oh my gosh, there is so a jump for us to hit. I don't know why else this would be here if they weren't wanting us to jump our gator. All right, let's line it up. All right, here we go. Oh, it's not going to be going too fast when we hit it, but it might do something. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Still got the same ragdoll emotions. That's kind of funny, though. That's weird that they put that there. But hey, that's pretty cool. All right. I'm going to make my way back over to the farm. We're going to be helping out Helper H there because he's kind of doing some stuff, and I feel bad for not being over there. So I'm just going to head on over there, and I'll see you guys there in a second. There we go. We are back on the farm now. I took a shortcut, went over some little some grassy paths, but we finally made it. Let me see here. We're just going to drop this guy off up here. There we go. Cool, cool. All right. Let's take a Valtra over here. We do need to upgrade uh, tractors, by the way. We need to get a medium size, which we'll be getting later in this video, mainly because it's very, very difficult. I tried to do a little bit of seeding and cultivating over there. It's very difficult to do it with a small tractor. A medium tractor is what I think is recommended. Um, or even a large would do good. Let's see if we... Do crop destruction if we drive past this. Um, yep, we definitely do. Alright, we're gonna wait for this guy. Is he full? He's not even full. In that case, we're just gonna let him go by. And we are going to go. Um Let me see here. Go to the shop and we're gonna pick up some new toys we're gonna snag ourselves a medium tractor right, let's check what we got over here really quick there's a pickup and 2014 pickup I like it that looks good how many mowers all we got is a big crone some animal stuff the cotton technology looks huge though this case one is absolutely massive and it's half a million dollars so it's expensive, let me just say that. Alright, so 170 horsepower. Let's check and see what what we own costs us usually. Oh no, hold on. What is this button for the garage? Is it the backspace? Yes it is. Alright. Vulture's only a hundred. And the recommended for lease we leased this one right here. It's 220, so that would help out a lot. 
two twenty eighty five. We can probably return this one. We don't need this one anymore. No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel. I'm about return the wrong one. All right, so let's pick ourselves up a good old John Deere six M. Okay, we need to pull out a little bit more money though to purchase it outright because we're just gonna buy this one all the way. All right, let's check him out. All right, there we go. Wheel setup, wide, narrow, rear twins, front twins. What is the rear twins gonna cost us? 4,000. It's gonna cost us 4,000 extra, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Total price, 123,000. All right, let's snag some more money then. Wait, is it not letting me? What the heck? There we go. Now we can. Let's just borrow some more mice. Slapping that space bar. I wonder if it'll caps out at 500000 Yep. So you can only take out a $500,000. Hopefully, if we go bankrupt, though, we can just erase all that. No need to worry about it. Um, <laughs> not really a good way to live by. But if it happens, it happens. All right. We're going to do dualies in the rear. Um, engine, we're going to want a beefy engine. 164, 142. So it's only 164. This one's only 100,000, though. So it's pretty cheap to get 164 horsepower out of this uh, big machine here. Front weight. We don't need front weights. I don't think we need front weights because we got those rear tires. Whoa. This is like road tires. That's sweet. Trail boards. All right, let's go with these. All right, that'll work for me. Front loader attacher. Oh, heck yes. Uh, actually, no. We don't need the front loader attacher. If we need to, we'll bring the Valtra back and we'll uh, add that to the Valtra. We'll just have our mechanic do that for us. All right, here we go. Yes, we do. All right, so we picked up a new John Deere 6... M. It's a 6155M, but you just call it the 6M. Look at it in all of its glory. It's pretty good. If I could get this bag out of here. We'll just move it right here. But it looks pretty good in my opinion. Got the Trellborgs. It's a 65. It's a 42 radius. That is huge, huge tires. Let's check out what the inside looks like. It's got nice. It's got an extra spot to have somebody else chilling in here with you. Oh, wow, there's just so much stuff in here. Got a nice sunroof. Oh, there we go. All right, I like it a lot. So, we have a planter and a cultivator at home already. We should probably pick up one more thing while we're here so we don't have to make another another uh, run. And I think all of our fields need lime. Let me check this out really quick. Field 16 or 17. Let's see here. Weeding needs plowing needs lime So we are gonna need to weed and we're gonna need to lime um, So in that case if we're gonna need to weed and lime That's a 9 meter. That's fine. That's a 12 meter. We'll just stick with this one for now Still got 153,000. That's good. Uh, we'll buy this weeder Because I'm sure weeds will become a huge issue for us in the future here um, so I just don't want to have to worry about that. And then the lime one, if I'm not incorrect, is going to be crop protection. Nope. This is just sprayers. Here we go. Here's some lime ones, some lime spreaders. 12 meters. So this one's just a do. Oh, this one just holds more. Holds like 4,000 more for almost double the price. That's insane. I don't know why you'd ever do that. All right, we'll pick up this lime spreader. Yeah, baby. All right. I wish I could throw it green, but you know what? It'll work for now. Um, spreading discs. Six meter spreading unit. Does that... Oh! For an extra 8,000, you can add on and make it 18 meters instead. Wheel setup. Narrows. Standards. Let's do standards. You know what? I think that's a, that's a pretty good bargain in my opinion. An extra eight thousand extension. 
Ooh, what was that? Small extension, large extension? Oh, dude, yeah, why would you not do that? That's really good, actually. You can add on quite a bit of stuff. Just super easy. All right, so now we got our weeder. So we got our weeder, and we got our lime sprayer. Wow, the lime sprayer is absolutely gigantic. All right, I'll start off first by grabbing this lime sprayer. Yeah, we'll start with the lime sprayer. I'm gonna snag this guy. All right, this is the what the breed dial, the breed dial. All right, we got the breed dial with us. So now I'm just gonna make my way. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna make my way over to the lime station, and we're gonna pick up some lime, guys. Uh, lime station is up here to this road, up to the left. So I'm just gonna drive there, and I'll see you guys there in a second. All right, we are now pulling up on the lime station. Never been here before, so let's check it out. AG miles, heat and energy. So, we need to figure out a way to add. Um, there we go. We just got to open up the top. All right. We want to load a lime into our vehicle. Oh, wow. This does cost a pretty penny, too, doesn't it? We'll just let this one fill up all the way with lime for now not all the way probably four five six thousand we'll do six thousand because everything else is going to need um some lime on it anyways because nothing has lime on it cap it at six or seven i mean there we go we'll take that all right now we're on our way back home all right and we are back with our lime spreader We'll drop this guy off. All right, now we're going to go back and we're going to pick up the weeder because we're going to start weeding first before anything else. Um, because as you can see here, uh, we have a lot of weeds. Uh, a lot of weeds. Oh, actually, we can help this guy out really quick. It's like he has one more small area to do. But looks like he's probably not going to do it. All right, I'm just going to run some of this over. Sorry. Will this just unload when we drive up to it? Nah, alright. We'll hop in. Make sure we're not too far away. I think we might be. Yep, alright. We'll rearrange it. There we go. I definitely am really, really, really liking the look and feel of this John Deere harvester in this game the mods in fs17 were great don't get me wrong they're fantastic but just having one that's like dedicated especially made by the cre creators of the game it's just it's it's not i'm not saying it's so much better but it's really really good it's just very very defined precise and it looks great that's my favorite part all right i'm gonna finish this line quick because this guy just didn't do it for some reason there we go. And then I'm going to get him set up on doing that side over there really quick. Hopefully it's not too much of a uh, incline or slope. Ooh, trying to run over these birds, but they're too quick for me. Alrighty, there we go. And... If done right... Be able to get a worker going on it yes there we go all right now we're gonna take this one back and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna grab the weeder but guys there we go but we're gonna stop it here I'm gonna wait and in the next video we will be doing some lime spreading and some weeding weeding first then lime spreading um, and then we're gonna try and get some planting going on so that's something that I'm really looking forward to and I'm determined to get that barn down because now I have $85,000 I'm determined. But guys, if you're liking this series so far, hit the like button. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe also. And while you're at it, hit the bell notification icon just so you guys know when I'm posting. I'm posting two times a day for quite a while here since FS19 just came out. It's just it's it's really fun and I'm really liking it so far. I'm liking all the upgrades they did to it. Um, just so you guys know, this is not the day one patch that's out here right now. Uh, when it hits nighttime, the day the sky gets all weird and funky. 
Um, so they still are fixing that stuff out, but that's why they send some of these keys out early so that we can figure it out and tell them back. Um, but guys, I'll see you in the next farming simulator video.